I just think I might go into the spanner business because apparently everyone's buying spanners at the moment. Bulldog Gear recommend two people to put it together and the only person I have to help me is him. Also, I'm sorry for anyone who's not a fan of socks and sliders because I know that my outfit today is going to be rather triggering. Oh, I'm out of breath even putting this on. And do you know what is absolutely crazy? This is only 20 kilos and in total, I lost 30 kilos. I'm super excited. Whoops, that's a little bit too close. Hey guys, how you going? I don't have a huge amount of time, but I've got something really exciting to show you. So one of the most common questions I get is where my home gym setup is from or where you can get something similar. And we are having a little upgrade and it all got delivered the other day. So I'm gonna unpack that with you guys later and show you what I've got. But I actually am going out now to train with somebody who, we've been friends on Instagram for around two years and he also trains calisthenics, but we've never actually met in person, even though we live in the same city. So I'm gonna go and train with him and I'm super, super excited because this is the first time I've actually trained calisthenics with somebody else for so, so long. So I'm super pumped. To be honest with you, I'm feeling pretty tired. I had a awful night's sleep, but, and actually I was at the gym last night as well and I just bailed out on my session. I did like four exercises and I was like, nope, I'm done, I'm going home. So we'll see how it goes, but I'm just really excited to be out and about and training with somebody else and just having some fun and trying some new things. So I will take you along with me, at least in phone form and show you what we get up to. And then later we're gonna come back and unpack some of this stuff and we can chat about home gym setups. All right, let's go. I've washed all the chalk away, I'm showered. It was a long session, it was so much fun, it was so good to train with somebody else again, and it went for about four and a half hours. It definitely made me realize my endurance is not what it used to be, and there is definitely things that I have been neglecting or choosing to miss out, I guess. So it gave me some things to work on, but it also gave me an opportunity to help Ollie with his handstands as well and do a few other bar skills that I haven't done in a while. I'll make sure I put some footage in either before this conversation or over me talking right now. Um, so you can check out what we did. But it was so fun, the environment was really good, it was so chilled, it's just good to get chalky, to get my shoes off and just mess around and play around like I used to in Australia, so much fun. So that's done and my body is feeling rather tired, but the exciting part of the day begins even more so because I'm now going to go and set up all my new home gym equipment and I'm really, really excited because there's stuff that I have finally got my hands on that I have been wanting for a while. So I'm gonna go through that. I do need to go out and buy a spanner because being the adult that I am, I actually own no tools. So I definitely need to go and get a spanner or two spanners actually, so I can put it together. But obviously I will show you what I got. Everything that I picked up is from a company called Bulldog Gear. And I actually did a podcast with them a couple of months ago now and it was on the Bulldog Gear podcast. I did put a post up on the community tab and it was a fantastic podcast. I was speaking to Andrew Tracy who works Bulldog Gear and we had a very calisthenics based and strength training based conversation. It was really good to dive deeper into that topic. And so they sent a load of stuff over, which is really, really fortunate. And uh, I am really excited to get it set up and start using it. And one of the things I'm most excited about mark my words, I'll probably be hating it in a couple of weeks time, is a weighted vest. It sounds so simple, maybe it sounds a little bit boring, but that can like elevate your training so much. And I can think of so many things I can do, even if it's just hill climbs and stair climbs, there's a really steep 
set of stairs near where I live and maybe I'm tempted to take it up there. We will see. But when I picked up the parcel off the package, I was like, oh, this is heavier than I thought. But luckily it's incremental, so you can change the weight. Anyway, I'm blabbing. I need to get out and I need to go and get a spanner before the shops close. So we're gonna go and do that. And then we are gonna get going and setting up all this equipment. And I'm sure Hugo is gonna be very, very excited because he's gonna have plenty of boxes to play with. And my gosh, does he have a lot of boxes. That's where we're going now. Let's get going. Okay tools acquired i think this is all i need it is actually a different day i didn't end up doing it that afternoon because it took me about five hours to find what i needed even though all i need is a spanner i'm starting to think i might go into the spanner business because apparently everyone's buying spanners at the moment but anyway finally got one in good old Lidl and so I'm going to start assembling all of the stuff that I've got. It's actually not a huge amount because with calisthenics obviously you don't need a huge amount so I will show you what I've got and I may run through some of the things I'll use it for but you'll definitely see them in future videos as well. Bulldog Gear recommend two people to put it together and the only person I have to help me is him. I don't think he's gonna be very useful with his lack of opposable thumbs. So, it's just me. So we're gonna see if it's even possible for one person to put together a squat rack with a pull-up bar, but I'm confident, quietly confident. First of all though, I've got to rearrange my living room as usual. So I'm gonna get rid of all this furniture, push it all back to the kitchen so I have some space to work with. So there's a couple of items here that I've wanted for a while, like I said before. And this is the, one of the ones I'm pretty excited for because I've never actually been able to do dips at home. And with these, I will. Also, I'm sorry for anyone who's not a fan of socks and sliders because I know that my outfit today is going to be rather triggering. And I know there's a lot of people out there that really hate socks and sliders because I wear them a lot and I get a lot of comments about it. <laughs> but if you haven't entered the world of socks and sliders, you won't realize just how comfortable they are. Honestly, such a game changer. Right, let's get this box open. And just in case you can hear that noise, I told you, he's much more of a hindrance than a help. At least he's cute. Oh. I sincerely hope that all the items do not come with the tools after all that effort to get the tools. Okay, I'm gonna finish this off and I will be back to show you the final result. Okay, okay. Item number one is done. We have some large parallettes. So you can do dips on these, you can do core exercises, you can even learn how to do pull-ups on these as well. So they're super versatile. I will probably show you at the end some exercises because I'm not quite dressed in the right attire to show you. But number one down. Next, I'm gonna say that I'm excited for all the pieces really because I, I genuinely am. But next, I think I'm gonna do the plyo box. Oh, the irony. So I didn't need tools for the one that I bought tools for, but then for the plyo box, I need to have an electric screwdriver or just a regular screwdriver. And I don't think I have one of those. I feel like I used to have one, but I can't find it. So that one's on hold, cause it's like a giant jigsaw piece and then you just screw it all together. Um, next. Oh, I think I've got to tackle the squat rack. All right, let's assess the situation and we'll see how easy this is gonna be. Bulldog gear said two people, but I managed to do it myself. I now have my pull-up rack. I'm so excited. It's an absolute beast, and I know that Bulldog gear do good quality, but my gosh, comparison to that frame, it's like totally different, totally different. So I'm excited. There's also a huge size difference as well, so I will show you that. Oh my gosh, I've had a proper workout. My hands have I've had a good grip strength workout, but I'm gonna move this into place, I think, now. 
And I'm gonna take a look at some of the other little bits. I'll just show you some of the other little bits that I got. They don't need assembling, so I can just quickly show those to you. All right, first up, I got a pair of 10 kilo hex dumbbells. And just to show you, so these are made out of a rubber material. You might be able to see that on the camera. And that's really good because they'll grip to the ground if I want to use them to lean on as parallettes. So they're gonna be super, super useful. And this one may be what I'm most excited about. And it's so random, you guys are gonna be like, what? But you'll see. What do you guys think? Do I pull it off well? So this is a 20 kilo weight vest, but the great thing is, is that it's made up of all these little one kilo blocks, if I can get it out and show you. So each one of these is one kilo, and that means that you can change the weight in the vest. So you can change that up. I'm out of breath even putting this on. So this is 20 kilos at the moment. And do you know what is absolutely crazy? This is only 20 kilos, and in total, I lost 30 kilos. So I lost this plus half again. And when I put it on, I'm like, wow, this is really heavy. And if I had to wear this all day, it would be pretty hard. It's just eye-opening, I think, if anything. And obviously, when you lose or gain weight, it's proportionate, so it's gonna be all over your body. It's not just gonna be in one spot. But that being said, it's still the same amount of weight. And when you pick it up afterwards, you realize just how heavy it is. That's crazy. So what I'm gonna use this for is basically to up my Cali strength. At the moment, I'm still working on getting my fundamentals right, getting them back because of my back injury last year, and I still have that injury, so I'm still managing it. But this will really help me. So I could use this on the pull-up bar if I want to try pull-up negatives, but weighted. If I wanted to do dips, I can wear this. But you can just wear this for bodyweight exercises on the floor, so things like squats, lunges, if you want to go for a walk in it, if you want to do hill climbs, Whatever it is, you add a bit of this on and you're just adding resistance. So it's a really great way to elevate your Cali training or your body weight training at home. And I'm just excited to have this one because I know that I can change the weight up. So I don't always have to have 20 kilos in. And not only that, but you can use these little weights on their own. So if I'm doing core exercises, I could literally just hold on to these and make my core exercises a little bit harder. So it's got so many uses but I feel like I look pretty badass. I don't know, maybe I'm just imagining it, but I'm super excited. Right, on the more accessory side of things, I got this Bulldog Gear yoga mat. It's pretty thick. It feels like insane quality and super grippy, which is important for me and what I do, but it's just got like Bulldog Gear embossed there, and otherwise it's just plain black. So I'm pretty excited to use that. I'm gonna keep this very, very far away from Hugo's dirty little paws because he destroyed my last yoga mat. Let me show you. All the little teeth marks. That's a very bad kitten that destroyed that. This was the yoga mat I had from the very beginning of my Cali journey. I'm not gonna get rid of it. I'll still use it. It's just, it was time to get a new one. So then I also got a set of resistance bands. You can never go wrong with resistance bands, but they're also a bit of a staple in calisthenics training, even if it's for just stretching, mobility, and warming up. So with thin band, then a, a medium thin band, then we've got this one, and then the big boy, the green band. This is the one that's gonna get me a muscle up. I can feel it. But um, they all just have bulldog gear on them, they're resistance bands. So I've got a set of resistance bands. You'll be seeing me, they're already open because I've already been using them, but you'll be seeing me use them a little bit more. Yoga blocks. So they're always useful. I have mentioned yoga blocks before. Obviously they're not a necessity, but they do come in so useful as an alternate to parallels like mini P-bars. Or if you want to just put your hands in a neutral position, you can put your hands on the yoga blocks. And obviously, if you want to do yoga, you can use them too for that. So they have so many different uses, and these ones are like a really high density one, which is better than the ones I have already, which I'll show you. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell on camera, but there's quite a significant difference in how squishy they are. So you can see I've dented that one in. And I used to find that when I was leaning on these, they would just tip out. So these ones are gonna be a lot more stable, which is fantastic. And I'm done. And that's everything assembled, everything unpacked. So it's actually pretty late now, it's 5.30. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just catch up on some other bits of work and then I'm gonna come back tomorrow when there's gonna be more light and we're gonna do a little workout using some of this equipment. 
so I will see you guys then. Hello, hello, hello. So it's the next day and we are going to go and do a little workout. So I've just moved the equipment around so it's set up properly. I've decided what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take the five fundamental, well, there's kind of five or six, but five fundamental calisthenics skills that are really beneficial to sort of lay the base to build upon for progressions. And they are push-ups, pull-ups, dips, squats of some type, and a core exercise, a hip hinge movement. So I'm gonna take all five of those exercises and I'm gonna show you three variations of each, a beginner, a somewhat beginner intermediate, and then maybe an intermediate one on all those sort of pieces of equipment. So what equipment I use is gonna vary dependent on the variation, but I thought that would be a really good opportunity to show you how you can progress, how you can utilize different pieces of equipment, and how you can also have a little bit of fun too. I've had my coffee, I'm fueled up, I'm gonna get changed, and we're gonna get training, and I'm super, super excited. Okay, so first off, we're going to start with the good old push-up. So as a beginner, the best thing to do is incline push-ups. So you could use a bench, the back of a sofa, a bathtub, your kitchen counter, a stairwell, or if you have a plyo box, you can use one of those as well. I'll try and remember to link it up above, but I do have several videos on my YouTube channel talking through the progressions and the correct form with push-ups. But once you've been working away at your incline push-ups, you'll eventually get to a point where you can do them on the floor. So that would be your intermediate push-up. And then if you want to start to make that harder, one of your options could be to do a decline, but you could also do pike push-ups or loads of other variations, which tend to be a little bit more interesting. All right, let's move on to everyone's favorite, the pull-up. So obviously you would usually do this on a bar, so I can use the squat rack for this, but you can just buy a bar that hooks over your door frame as well. For a beginner though, today we're going to work on a progression called the bodyweight row and we're going to use the parallettes for this. So it's a really, really good exercise to start strengthening up the lats and the back muscles that you need for your pull-ups. And the further out your legs are, the harder this exercise will be. You can also do it with both parallettes like this if you want to take a slightly wider grip, but you can also do this in the gym on a bar or a Smith machine. And one more option at home is to use a sturdy table to do your bodyweight rows, or if you just wanna do them on less of an incline, you can use a door frame. But I have shown those in other videos before. So once you've mastered your beginner bodyweight rows and you're ready to get onto the bar, then there's loads of different progressions you can play with. Again, I have videos on pull-up progressions, but a fantastic one is doing eccentrics. So really slowing that down phase of the exercise. And then eventually you'll be able to get your full pull-up and it takes a long time. It's hard work, but it's so, so worthwhile. I'm still trying to get mine back with really good form because of my back injury, but we are slowly but surely getting there. All right, one of my favorites is dips. And this is what a full dip would look like. So I'm gonna use the parallel bars and you're gonna come down to just past 90 degrees with your arms and push up. So it's an upper body exercise, but as a beginner, you can start like this. So you can just use anything that you can find. It can be a bench, a coffee table, your bathtub again, or if you have a plyo box like this, it's super, super sturdy. And you're just gonna start building up that tricep strength. For our next progression, we're gonna move on to the parallel bars and we're gonna have our legs grounded on the floor, but we're gonna do an eccentric or just a regular dip. So you're gonna take some of the weight off your arms by having your feet on the floor, but you're still gonna try and keep as much as possible in your upper body. This gives you the opportunity to change the amount of weight that you're putting in your arms and therefore not just work on form, but also work on strength too. All right, and finally, we're moving into a full dip. So please don't watch this video and think because I'm showing these progressions so quickly that it will happen that quickly. It took me a good few years to be able to do it, but eventually you will get there if you keep chipping away at it. All right, moving on to our lower body. I changed the squat variation this time for a step up because it is such a good exercise and also it really challenges your balance and your proprioception as well. So as a beginner, you're just gonna find something to step up on. Obviously, the higher the surface, the harder this will be, but you really want to try to maintain really good form, really strong control, and also push through the heel that's planted on the step that you're stepping onto. So core is nice and tight and engaged, chest is up nice and proud. You're gonna push through that heel and try to minimize kicking off that bottom foot. 
If you need a little bit of assistance with the balance, I used a parallel in the first clip, but you can also use the back of a chair or a wall or something that you have nearby just to help you out with your confidence. Once you're comfortable with that, we're gonna move on to weighted step ups. Everything stays the same in terms of form, but now we're just adding some weight. So I've got one of those 10 kilo dumbbells in my hand and I'm just focusing on maintaining my form as much as possible. And finally, for the last progression, I'm going to add the weighted vest. I'm excited to finally use it. And I'm going to do everything exactly the same, but this time I'm gonna drive my knee up towards my chest. So I'm just challenging a little bit more balance and I'm working at a slightly quicker pace as well. And moving on to the fifth and final exercise in this video, we're gonna look at our core exercise and I've chosen to do knee raises and some variations of knee raises. So as a beginner, you could start here, but this is actually very challenging as well for a beginner. So I would suggest if you're a true beginner, just starting with knee raises or leg raises on the floor. But once you're comfortable there, you can move it to the bar. So just hanging knee raises up to around your belly button height. And then finally, you can work on knee to chest. So you're gonna bring your knees up a lot higher and really try to control that downward phase. And as always, trying to minimize the use of momentum. Okay, so I thought we'd just have a quick chat before the end of the video. So since probably the last month or two, my back has been a lot better than it had been in the past. Obviously, well, not that obviously, but a year ago, this time last year, I actually couldn't walk because I had a back injury. I had a herniated disc in my L5S1 disc and it was causing sciatica, so it displaced the sciatic nerve. Um, even up until April this year, they wanted to do surgery on my spine and I haven't actually had the surgery. They said I had an option and I chose to try to use rehab and to see my osteopath and use exercise and lifestyle to help treat it so so far so good and I'm pretty much back to be doing what I want to do whenever I want to do it and it feels amazing after so long but that being said I still have a lot of the mental fear attached to hurting my back so for example if there's a movement that puts a lot of pressure on my back or if there's something that's a high impact it's still quite scary for me to overcome mentally and i literally physically shake uh, but to be honest with you most things I'm totally fine with. So yeah, I'm just having an absolute well of time getting back into my training. Some of it feels really, really hard. Some of the things I've become quite complacent with. I'm looking at you, hollow body holds, and some of my bar skills. So I'm definitely gonna work on them. And that's why that weighted vest is gonna be a godsend for me because I'm still trying to get back my fundamentals, like my pull-ups, my dips, and all that sort of stuff to a decent amount of reps where I can start to build upon it. Um, but yeah, outside of that, I've been doing bouldering. I've been just a lot more active in general. I've somewhat taken up swimming. If you follow me on Instagram, I've been having this craving recently to do endurance things like triathlons and stuff like that. I've never done anything like that. I'm not a cardio, I'm not good at cardio. So for example, long distance running or swimming or cycling, I've never even road cycled in my life. But for some reason, I'm kind of craving it. And then when we were in Croatia, we went canyoning, which was, awesome but again i was so scared that my back was gonna go because if you've been canyoning so where we went it was in omish and there's this big canyon called the i'm gonna pronounce it wrong satina canyon i believe and it's stunning but it's very very deep so it included abseils we did a 75 meter abseil and a 30 meter abseil no problem with that at all, that was fine. But the canyoning itself, when you're going through the rapids, you literally just have to throw yourself in, hold your arms in and just go feet first. And it dunks you, well, it dunked me under the water. Josh's butt was too big, it kept pushing him up. But it dunked me under the water. But the thing was, once you're in those rapids, you really don't have a huge amount of control. And underneath the water, there were so many random rocks and boulders just jutting out. And I was like, it's just gonna take one of these and my back will go. <laughs> but it was so much fun. And then we also did some cliff jumping. I, again, was a bit more reserved. I did the three and a half meter, but Josh did the eight, 10 and 12 meter ones. And I was like, yeah, I think I'll just hang out in the canyon here and wait for you to do those. Unfortunately, we don't have any footage, but I do have some photos. So I'll try and put them up here so you can see. But being able to just do fun stuff like that again is just amazing. So I'm hoping in terms of videos, 
to start to collaborate with other people and to do different types of training videos because as you guys know I am not a trained athlete I did not come from a sporty background I was petrified of PE in school and up until about the age of 25, 26, I was overweight and I had never ever done any form of exercise. And obviously I've been on a bit of a journey since then and now it's my job. So I'm just looking forward to trying new things, putting myself out of my comfort zone, being rubbish at some stuff, being good at some stuff and just making good videos as well. So if you have any ideas, drop them down below, but any collaborations, I also kind of like the idea of doing videos where I try other people's training styles. For example, I tried CrossFit or I tried lead climbing or I did the hardest hike in the UK or whatever it might be and just trying different things. So yeah, let me know if you'd be interested in that because I would really enjoy to start making videos like that. But I'm gonna stop talking because we all know I could talk up to a park bench and I'm not gonna do that today so I'm actually gonna go and do some work now and I'm gonna edit this video and finish off a few things that you will find out about very very soon and otherwise I hope you enjoyed this video and I will catch you guys in the next one